A Dybbuk box is a way to trap a restless demon inside and stop it from possessing people. The whole point of the picture game is to test if people have demons or spirits attached to them. The door is open, please come in. The door is open, please come in. If it was focusing not even on the mirror, then something's like ahead of- I'm freaked out! I literally thought this whole Dybbuk box was stupid! Alright guys, I'm gonna do another 3am challenge. No, I'm not gonna do these, like, often. I'm not gonna, like, bring back these 3am challenges probably until I, like, hit a million subscribers. Just because it's not really worth it. But now I'm gonna tell you why I'm doing one today. And that's because Jake, my roommate, bought something called a Dybbuk box. And for those of you that don't know what a Dybbuk box is, I'll explain. A Dybbuk box is a way to trap a restless demon inside and stop it from possessing people. It is used basically as like a coffin for demons in order to take them away from living. Now, this way of trapping demons was a Jewish tradition that stopped about 80 years ago. However, these boxes still exist. They're still around in the United States. And so when Jake bought one, he brought it into our home and we opened it. I'll get more into that later on. But basically today, because of the events that have happened over the course of the last week, I really need to understand whether or not we actually did bring a demon in or if it's just our superstition. I'm going to be playing the picture game at 3 o'clock in the morning in order to understand if there is a demon attached to either Jake or I. These Dybbuk boxes have warnings all over the internet. Anyone who possesses them, anybody who has bought them in the past, like you can look it up, no one opens these things. They're the real deal in order to trap the demons that want to possess and those are obviously the most powerful demons. So this might have been one of the worst ideas to ever happen in this house and you know there's been a lot of haunted stuff to happen in this house with that being said tonight i'm going to take a look at these boxes with jake make sure we know what we're dealing with and if things are the way that we think they are we're gonna to have to get rid of them Ooh. all right so we've been keeping them outside in our backyard these are the that's actually rotten milk. This is gorgeous. Yeah, God. Yes. We actually got two divot boxes. And as you can tell, we had to pry them open. Like, there was wax surrounding the entire this, outskirts. This one was so locked shut. That, oh my gosh. No, it literally, we had to open it from the top. So as you can tell, like, they're really not supposed to be open. And no. We opened no, they're both. supposed to be kept close for a reason. Exactly. Did you ever uh, find out what symbols these were? Like, is there a specific language? Yeah. Yeah, I think I think it's like ancient Hebrew, I think, but I know what everything says. Ancient Hebrew. So anyway, these symbols are all apparently ancient Hebrew symbols. As you can tell, it's also like Jewish star right there, um, star of David, and everything around here surrounds around the idea of something trapped inside. Well, what's the main summary of what those things say? Basically, like these symbols, the symbols that the things that don't look like writing that are symbols are like demonic signs. Like they mean different types of demons in the ancient times. So like what type of demons might be in this box type thing? Or like that. Or like or it's like boxes. blessed by demons. All these writings are pretty much a warning. Basically there's warnings all over this box. Do not open it. Every story and article you've ever read about uh dope boxes are like the entire purpose of them is so that you keep a demon shut and you don't have to deal with them anymore. But we ended up opening up long story short. Now it's so like just looking inside of them real quick. It's very really ominous. Like there's this freaking picture. Anyway. Um, that was weird. <laughs> that was weird. So, we think these all tell a story because what we found is when we open these divot boxes, like these items are supposed to represent what demon was trapped inside and like the objects that the demon was attached to when it was trapped inside these boxes. So there's, you know, like dirt and rocks and stuff like that, maybe from like the area that it was surrounding. But then there's these pictures, this family, and there's this one woman standing in front of a house. And then what we think to believe is her three children. Now, if you can see in there, it's just a picture of her three solemn children. And the correlation? It's all in the back. PD. PD on that one. And both of those PD. are PD. So what we have thought is that not only is there one demon in this box, but there is the entire family of demons that we released. You know, we have no idea, you know, what if the mom, like the mother is the only demon? Exactly. And, and, the, have... and the mom like drowned the kids 
or something. Seriously. But anyway, the point today is I thought the only way to get an answer as whether or not this worked was to do a 3 a.m. challenge. You're bringing called. back the 3 a.m. challenges? Only because we need to figure out if there's a demon. I, I feel like that's a pretty good reason. All right, before we get into it, I also want to mention a couple of things that have been happening about this house. One, ever since the demon box has been opened, like people around the house have been like seeing like weird things at night. Obviously, that could just be our superstition. Like I will put that out there. It's probably just us being like, okay, this demon box thing has got us on edge, but we have actually started walking around at night in our backyard because Corey, especially Corey, Aaron, and everyone, honestly, but mostly them, have been seeing right outside <laughs> our front and back doors. They've been thinking like they see somebody out there. And they're like freaked out and they think that someone's like either stalking us, which I will say like a week and a half ago, there was like three fangirls that literally stayed outside of our house for like days on end. So that might be it. But Corey and Aaron like really seem like they think we have a stalker or some sort of thing that's outside that's like making noise. So there's one thing. But then I also want to tell you this. Colby told me this last night that he woke up randomly out of his sleep and he never really wakes up. He's a hard sleeper. He sleeps until like freaking. such a heavy sleeper. Anyway, he told me that he woke up and he was like, dude, you'll never guess. Like, you can put this in a video if you want because it's like that crazy. He said, I woke up, looked at the time, and it was exactly 3 a.m. And I was like, oh, well, did anything happen? And he's like, that's the weird part. As soon as I woke up at 3 a.m., 30 seconds later, my closet door creaked all the way open as if it was like being open. And like, you know Colby like doesn't mess with this stuff. Like we do all these 3 a.m. challenges and Colby really like doesn't mess with them. And then all of a sudden like he had that happen to him and I'm like, whoa. Like I don't believe it 100% because we've had like this air conditioning type of problem recently. But I just want to tell you like, I don't know if you heard about that. Dude, I would have skirted out that room so yeah. fast. But anyway guys, why I'm doing a 3 a.m. challenge is not to summon any more demons or anything like that. This game is called the picture game. And I don't know if you remember me doing this like six months ago. Uh, it was like my last 3 a.m. challenge, but I did it as a prank because I was just like messing with Corey and Aaron. But the whole point of the picture game is to test if people have demons or spirits attached to them. So that is the reason why we're doing this game because I need to see if Jake or me has like a demon attached to him because, you... well, the reason why I say this is, I don't know if you remember in your video, Jake, I'll pop in a little segment right here, but for some reason, you managed to make me open the very first box. Is that? Oh, Samuel. Shh. It's the one that good. opened it. No, 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 no. Sam no, opened no, it. No, Sam, up. you unlocked it. I didn't know that you were going to pick open that lock. I was trying to help, and it was bad. So I might have something, too, and I just want to, like, once and for all, there's too many freaky things that happened this week, especially with this whole, like, seeing people at night and him freaking acting weird. We'll get into that in a little bit. Jake. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're going to talk about that in a sec, but, like, there's too many things not to at least test it. So... This is how you play the picture game. At 3 a.m., so obviously it's not 3 a.m., so we'll have to come back in like an hour or two and actually figure this out. Step one, you have to make a circle with rope. So we got this rope, we'll make a circle here. Fill a glass, a little alcohol, in the center of the rope circle. So basically that represents where it is. We're actually going to put the Divic box in this circle because that is what we think really? has the demon attached to it. I was going to say, do you think that Corey would care we bring it in? But if we just bring it in, they'll say anything. I think we're fine. A divot box, when you open it, it releases the demon. So there shouldn't actually be a demon still attached to whatever's inside. Whatever, whatever was in those boxes left. Anyway, so we have everyone sit around a circle and you have to hold a mirror in front of you. And so you have to call upon the spirits and like make sure that they're ready to talk. Basically gain the spirit's trust. And then you pass around a camera. Each person takes a picture of the other person and they say, I caught you. So, if I were to do this to Jake, after we were to say all of our uh, rituals to call upon the spirit, I would just go like this, say, I caught you, and then you would have this mirror right in front of you. I caught you. I take a picture. So we do that three times, and we're not supposed to look at the viewfinder, so that's why it would be closed until the very end. So basically we're taking pictures of each other after call calling on 
whatever spirits around to see if there is anything in sight. You know, like I'm just sick of it and I just want to yeah. know once and for all if sure. I actually have something to be scared of. Sure, definitely, of. definitely. Because everyone online is like really freaking out. Yeah, they're like freaking out thinking that we're going to end the world. And I'm like, I didn't yeah. think it was that big of a deal. <laughs> thinking that we're literally ending the world. Enough explaining what the situation is. Let's find out if there's a Dybbuk in this house. It is now 3 o'clock in the morning. And I don't know why I'm out of breath. I just got all these supplies just now. And now I'm just like not ready for this at all. Because we've been in pizza in the last five days. Anyway, so this is going to be our circle of world. We have to sit on either side of it. So I can't really sit crisscross applesauce because I'm super inflexible. But we'll get through this together. Here goes nothing. Whatever was in this box hopefully is not still in it. Because I don't want to summon anything that I didn't have to. Hopefully it's not in it. Hopefully it's on us. Oh, God. Here is the glass of alcohol we're gonna put on top of it. This is this is part of it? Yeah, this is part of it. So they each represent different things and like as long as this rope circle is complete, whatever is inside the rope circle can't get out. Uh, if we do the ritual correctly, if we call it correctly. Now, but we will be able to take pictures across the circle of each other so we'll be able to see if there's something around us. Anyway, each person has to sit inside the circle holding the mirror in front of them and then pointing it at the ceiling. So let's both hold the mirror and then point it at the ceiling. Have each person close their eyes, hold the hands, and say, I trust you. Is I trust you or I trust them? One, two, three. I trust you. We're going to keep the mirror facing up and all of us have to say in unison, the door is open, please come in. 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 Okay, so it says whatever wants to come in is now entered. So we gotta pass the camera in a circle and take a picture of each other. Each time you take the picture, say, I copy you. And then do not look at the preview in image. I copy you. What? That felt so scary. I can't look at the image like I want to. Switch. We guys gotta do that three times. Oh, I can't look in here, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, you can look in there, but not after the images are taken. I caught you. Well, that is disturbing to do that. Yeah, it's like every time you've ever taken a picture in your whole life, you want to look at it, and now you can't. Let's just get this over with. I caught you. Dude, I can see the light going into your eyes, and they look red. Like, just both of your eyes look pitch red. Jeez, I, I never know pitch red was a thing. Okay, I don't know if pitch red is a thing. <laughs> but, like, I know there's no such thing as a red eye, but it just scared the crap out of me, you know? Yeah. It looks, like, satanic looking. I caught you. Okay. Last round. I caught you. I caught you. Sick. Alright, well, those are all the pictures. We still can't look at them and turn the camera off. We can't, can't get rid of this until we completely disassemble this ritual right now. So to end the game, everyone must close their eyes and say in unison, it is time to go home three times. Then everyone turns the mirror face down, turn on the lights, and cut the rope circle. Take the alcohol outside and pour it in the dirt. After all of that has happened, you can now review your photos. So we have to say three times in unison with our eyes closed, it is time to go home. Ready? Okay. Three. Two, one. It is time to go home. It is time to go home. It is time to go home. I've cut open that, and now we got the glass. Let's pour this out. Take the dilly boxes over here. We'll plug this into a computer, and then we'll show you guys the photos. The last step in the process: making sure everything is completely Whoa. stopped. Dude. What? What? Does it make it worse that it's a full moon? Oh my god, it is a full moon. All set and all done, so let's just put those devil boxes back outside and let's go look at these photos. So freaking creepy, dude. I just grabbed my computer so we can check this out. How for me doesn't want to look at these pictures, dude? Dude, I know, okay, so this is like, honestly, a telltale sign if this Dybbuk box is actually real or not, right? Yeah. The reason why half of me doesn't want to is because the other half wants me to and that half thinks I'm not possessed and the other half thinks that I probably am. 
possessed. So. Shut up. You <laughs> saying half of you thinks you're possessed? <laughs> that lady creeped me out. I just feel like that lady's like protecting her children, but she also like killed them. Dude. I don't know, I got a whole scenario going in my mind. Anyway, down to the actual pictures. Everybody has been waiting for this. Um, just from now on, just uh you know, exclude all the you skeptics out there. I'm just gonna do a one shot. I'm not gonna edit this part until we see the pictures, so you know for a fact that it just comes from the camera to my computer. I have my computer right here. No trickery, no stupid stuff. This is literally just the instructions for the picture game. Uh, let's just take that exact SD card out. That's uh, on the side of the camera. And then we'll go from directly, you guys can see, to right there, into the computer. I'm just doing this, guys, again, because some of you guys are skeptics, you know, believe these things. And I want you guys to believe that there is or there isn't one of these, uh, like, demons or dibbics in our freaking house. So, let's, uh, check this out. Let me see. Alright. DCM. That's down there is just videos from other stuff. These are our six pictures that we took in order. So let's see this. You want to see these, dude? Yeah, let's see. All right. <clears throat> so you're wordless looking for anything that is out of the ordinary from these pictures. So I'm going to see if I can make it as big as possible so we can see. All right. Brightness up. Okay. So Whatever is there, we're supposed to be able to catch. So there's the mirror, and you can see the alcohol glass in there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Do you see? Oh, what is that? Oh, that's the uh, that's the rug. <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah, that, that. Yeah, that. I, you can't see that on camera, really. Do you see anything? I don't. I don't see anything. Okay. Oh, maybe we'll compare it to the other images. Okay, this is me. Wow, I look terrified in this. All right. Mm -hmm. um, oh shit! Is there like anything there? Whoa. Wait, what? Let me see. What? I don't know. What is that? What are all those lines? Oh, it's your shirt. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> There's all those lines. There's that's a really messy mirror. Let me see. Get that out of the way. Is there any shadows? I don't think we caught anything. Nothing around. Weird. All right, I don't really know exactly what we're looking for. I know, like, obviously these light beams from the flash might reflect off of this mirror, but other than that, I have no idea what we'd be looking for. Oh, this one's super blurry. Yeah, it's a lot more blurry. What is on that? Mm -hmm. What is that? Oh. I've, I didn't... There was no light. It looks it. curved. Look, like that light looks bent. Is there a light right there? Behind you? Behind, like, by me? There was a flash, but that doesn't look like a flash at all. That looks like curved light. Yeah, that's weird. There's no curved light. That's weird. All around. Look, that, that wasn't the first one, right? Even, no, this is the second picture. And look right there. It looks like there's some curved thing. I have no idea what that would be, but I don't understand why you're so blurry. Like, what is in focus right now? Yeah. Like, what was weird. it focusing on? If it was focusing not even on the mirror, then something's like ahead of it. I don't know. Like right in between us? Yeah. Oh, right where the freaking ritual was. Yeah. No way! Do you think that means it was literally focused like here on the picture? Well, if the camera has to be focused somewhere. Exactly. And it's not in the back, it's not on me. Whoa. The only place you could be is between us. When I go from you to here. Whoa! Okay, look at the camera viewfinder. Okay. Uh, like right as I switch from this over to it. Oh, dude, there's something in the back. What? Like, well, watch this, watch this. It looks like someone's back behind It literally me. looks like something's behind you. That might be around, around this area. Right? Whoa, 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 I see it. There. I see something. Yeah! Yeah, look, 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 right there, right there. Something like right there. Holy. No, 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 no. What, do you think that? It, you can't tell me I, that that's all just like the freaking couch. I wanna go look over there. No, dude. That's the couch right there. There was something above the couch. What else is in the tree? What the? Yeah, dude, dude, dude. dude something there. 
Do you see that? I don't know if they what can, is that. I don't know if they can see that, but that's like part of the couch or something. Ah, uh, I don't know, guys. If you can see that, that's freaky. Yeah, there's like some part of the couch behind Jake that it might be Jesus. focusing on. Uh, all right, uh, my second one. I don't know. What's that? I don't know. That might be the flash. Yeah, you think that's like the news? <laughs> <laughs> Our walls are pretty dirty over there. I was gonna say that might be from Elton's party way back when. It looks like those same those same streaks. Look at your first marks. picture. Look, you see the streaks on it? Yeah. Whoa, whoa. That looks completely different. That is completely different than that. There's no whoa. streaks, but it has there's the. There's no light. There's no streak. I have no idea there's what like, that means. If a, that's just like the weird. If that's just like, like a weird lighting. glow to it. I that's weird. Let me see this one. This is next one. I don't know what these all mean. Whoa. That just looks Dude, really creepy. Do you remember creepy. that weird bendy light? That? What? Look, look at the mirror. There's no weird bendy light now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look at his first one. There's a second one. There's the bendy light. That was there in the first one, and nothing there in the second one. Whoa. You see that? You have that on the camera? Kind of. Oh, 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 the light beam. Yeah. Holy crap. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me see if I can. Can they see that? A little bit. Like right up against here, right there. Do you see that? Oh, How there's me, like. Here, let me bend. Oh, there we go. There, there we go. go. There look, we go. look, look, look. There's literally a light beam. Dude, you know what I noticed? Whoa. In every picture, it's like there's like some form of light in the picture. Yeah, it's like, well, it, I don't know. That's that's the weird thing about this game is that it you, forces you to have a mirror in front of you. So maybe all these like weird bends of light or like rays like this. Well, it's almost like a weird glow. True. It's just that freaks me out, bro. My camera keeps going out of focus even though it is littered right in front. Look, oh my God. Look, my camera is going in and out of focus even though it's literally sitting right in front of this computer. What is going on? That's weird. It's, it's focusing on this. Like, I don't know, you guys can't see it, but there's like a focus finder, and it's going right here. And that's right where there's a ray of light, like whoa, coming off, whoa. you see that? Now it's going behind me. Yeah, now it's like behind you, like right on the crease. That's weird. I don't know exactly what we're looking for, but whatever happens is looking like it's working. And then it's back. Look, what? the regular, the regular mirror with the scuffed up. See, right there, it's all faded and like fuzzy and shadowy. And then on the first, the last picture of me, it's both like this weird streaky, streaky handprints. I'm freaked out. I literally thought this whole Dybbuk box was stupid. None of this is making sense. Like you'd think that it'd make like physical. Like I, I thought that, that like you would be able to see something, but like kind, it's just a bunch of different pictures. You know, it, it makes sense if everything looked like scientifically correct but a lot of it doesn't. It just looks like there's things in every picture that are different over and over and over again. Yeah, even though they're the same pictures. Two things though, when we opened the Dybbuk box, you were acting weird, and but I just thought that was just because, you know, hey, it's like a weird, scary night. One, I'm really starting to believe this, but two, I, I'm like so much more interested in figuring out what the heck this Dybbuk box is, because that's not normal. Dude, last time, when I did this picture game and my our house was apparently haunted, I was looking at the pictures before I made it a prank and there was nothing like that. There was like one shard of light throughout all six pictures of what we took last time with me, Aaron and Corey. This time, it's like different every single time. There's something different about these pictures, including like these weird orbs of light that are going across our screen. Now I'm kind of on Corey's side. I think we should get rid of this. Or, so? or at least understand it more. I don't know what you guys saw. Right now, it, it just looks like a bunch of weird light flares. There was that one shadow. I will say that. There was the one shadow looking thing that made it seem like our couch was like twice as big. So I wanna understand that one, but everything else has just been light flares. I don't know, what is you guys' opinion? Like, what do we need to do? I think 100% we need to get rid of this but like in the right way. I just think that like maybe this is more real than I expected. I don't know about you, what you're planning on doing with this box, but I would be down to- Destroy like, it. Or cleanse it or whatever you do. I wanna research this like tonight or tomorrow morning, like and get out of this and figure out like what those signs mean. Probably do that 
like here like tomorrow or something like that so be on the lookout for uh, that video if you guys want to see any of the other dig box videos to understand all this Jake has been doing this for the past two weeks so I'll link those videos in the description like thank you for letting me use you as a test subject on this like freaking 3 a.m. challenge test monkey now test monkey or demon monkey <laughs> demon monkey oh it's <laughs> so scary uh I know I try to keep a light mood I always try to keep a light mood in these 3 a.m. challenges but like I'm starting to believe that this isn't just like stick box Corey might be right we should get rid of it.